A section view allows you to take a look inside a part and reveal internal details. Engineering parts like the one shown here contain several internal features and structures. Sometimes a part is so complex, that we get several hidden lines overlapping on each other, and it becomes very hard to visualize the part geometry correctly. The sectioning process allows us to remove a portion of an object, and view the inside features of a part that are of interest to us. Let's have a look at the CAD model of a valve shown on this page. What is there on the inside of the valve body? How does the valve work? All these questions can be easily answered by creating sectional views of the part, and then adding few animations using the CAD tools. The world of CAD and simulation is evolving to a more realistic stage, and many areas beyond the engineering domain are taking advantage of its capabilities. The field of medicine, for example, is integrating CAD modeling and simulation to help the doctors to perform medical procedures. The CAD models and simulations are now essential to ensure proper surgery, creation of models for training purposes, and to predict how organs will perform. Most of the CAD models use sectional views to meet the above requirements. Now let's see the creation of a sectional view of a part using the model shown here. To create a section view, first we cut the part with an imaginary plane called a cutting plane. In general, the cutting plane is passed along the parts plane of symmetry. Next, the portion of the component between the viewer and the plane is removed, and the remaining part is then viewed normal to the cutting plane. After this, a hatch pattern is applied to the surfaces that make contact with the cutting plane. Notice how the hidden features are clarified in the sectional view. The location of the cutting plane is shown in a view adjacent to the section view, in this case the top view, and it is represented by a cutting plane line. Two arrows are placed at the ends of the cutting plane line to indicate the direction of sight for the section view, 